Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Vivian and this is my first sketchbook tour video. Prepare a cup of tea or coffee and enjoy my little adventure for you. So before everything, I would like to introduce myself. You can call me Viv. I'm 26 years old and I live in Hungary with my family and two cats. Currently, I'm in between jobs and I learn UI design. I uh, both create traditional and digital illustrations. In this sketchbook tour video, I'm gonna talk about uh, when and how I filled this sketchbook. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this one, this yellow sketchbook. And uh, I started it in 2022 September uh, when I spent uh, one year in Japan with my working holiday visa. Uh, you're gonna see a big switch in style, so if you don't like the first few pages, please don't go anywhere. <laughs> it's gonna be better, I promise you. It's gonna have more, more style and they're gonna be more exciting. So I hope you're gonna like it. And uh, without further ado, let's go! So this is the Talents Art Creation uh, yellow sketchbook. It uh, sizes A5, if I'm correct, and uh, it has about uh, 180 sheets. And uh, I don't think it's a mixed media sketchbook, but uh, it's perfectly fine for mixed media. I'm gonna talk about the stickers. So these are uh, what I'm pointing at. It's uh, all from Japan. I bought them from Daiso, the different sheets, and uh, there are some other stickers from Japan. It's a B-side label brand, and you can find so many kinds. <laughs> I chose a cup and a sheep. These stickers are from a small business uh, art shop in Budapest. Uh, you can buy random stickers from really cheap. Uh, price and uh, yeah some more random stickers so usually I really like uh, stickers from artists but uh, I couldn't find any in the price range that I could spare <laughs> so if you can recommend me I'm really open I live in Europe so that would be nice <laughs> These first few pages are all figure drawing sketches as when I started uh, this sketchbook I was still in my uh, concept, wannabe concept artist uh, phase and uh, I was practicing anatomy, I was practicing uh, hands, feet, movement, dynamics, um, yes, yeah, some cards from the Pokemon Center and uh, I was really trying to improve my skills because uh, I felt like I'm still lacking uh, anatomy skills and uh, I was dedicating uh, every day for, uh, for one spread or more and uh, yeah you can see how I was playing with contrast I was playing with uh, some ink brush. This spread is uh, made in a cafe when I was waiting for my fiance and uh, yeah these two if I remember correctly some cute frog and that one is my favorite uh, figure drawing sketch ever. I think it turned out really nice. I always use the uh, references from Pinterest and uh, I still have the board for a uh, figure drawing sketch. If you need it, just hit it up. I will leave the link in the description. Those were some uh, self-portrait kind of thing. And I practiced uh, here with my new pen. Here too, I was practicing uh, using only ink and pen. And uh, as we turn to the next page, I was uh, trying to make some more uh, cohesive uh, spreads so I drew some of my favorite uh, nature uh, topics like mushrooms I also found some really nice ginkgo leaves in Nagayaki uh, Nagayaki Koen in Osaka when I met my friend 
Here I was already feeling some kind of change and I think on this page in March I decided that I'm completely gonna change my artist journey and I'm gonna stop uh, practicing to be a concept artist so I turned uh, completely to illustrations and uh, I was uh, practicing finding my style, my illustration children illustration kind of style and I think they turned out really nice uh, these pages I was playing with some idea I wanted to do this what's in your bag challenge on this page with the cat sauna I was uh, doing a domestic course and there you had to draw your uh, animal self we were in a cat cafe for a few hours and uh, I drew some cats there. This was an Instagram challenge and uh, yeah, <laughs> some request challenge. And if you see some rose petals in the pages that are from my uh, engagement bouquet, so that's why they are there. <laughs> this spread is one of my favorite spreads in this sketchbook. It was already the end of May and uh, it was really rainy and uh, I think the CU was already starting because it was really humid. So I made this uh, frog go sketch. We ate a bunch of tuna and salmon so I was inspired by them and uh, I really love tuna. So that's why I made that sketch. And I think the salmons are really nice to draw, especially the pink salmons with their dots. I started to play Zelda at that time and uh, I was really inspired by the word and I really love Link too. So I made some sketches and uh, frogs are all time favorites. I think I was really tired, so that's why I, I wrote, man, I just really want to sleep. And, uh, yeah, the Oni Girl. On the next page, I think that was the time when I started to prepare for Ghibli Park. And uh, I watched uh, Mononoke Hime that uh, exact day when I made this uh, spread. And, uh, yeah, the figs are also a big inspiration of mine. I really love figs, they're really delicious and I think uh, that was the time when I realized <laughs> that I really love figs and uh, we got some Ichijiku snack too so therefore the card on the previous page and this page I was practicing uh, with crayons and uh, we also found a lot of clovers in parks I was inspired by clovers that time and I think still uh, I really love clovers still some crayon practice a spearmint or peppermint I don't remember which one and uh, you can see the crayon details they are so shiny because I used hairspray so the crayon doesn't transfer on the other page it's a really bougie solution instead of fixative but I think it works fine so if you don't want to spend money on fixative then just use hairspray it works completely fine these are some sun and moon topic some self-portrait I really love to incorporate sun and moon in my art and also star and uh, yeah these fruit hats is me my fiance and my two cats and the star boy is actually inspired by a child uh, from the kindergarten group that i uh, worked with in that time some more rose petal and some really emotional spread i worked with crayon and uh, acryl gouache On this page and spread, I made some uh, studies uh, about the Ghibli Park 
but uh, after photos, so my own photos. I tried some light practice here, but it really didn't work out, so <laughs> I just left it. This page is a very fun page. I, from time to time I like to do this practice where I just paint some blobs and then I draw over what I see. I have some favorite ones like the girl with the peach and the crow. Some ideas scribbled there. I made some watercolor and pencil studies after Pinterest pictures and here I was practicing my favorite color combination blue and pink and I think this was my other favorite uh, sketchbook spreads in this sketchbook I was scribbling around practicing some star designs because I realized that I can draw stars not just five branches but more <laughs> I think it's pretty popular lately. Some Posca practice. I think Posca markers are really good for these uh, design ideas. They work really nice. Um, from here, I was uh, sketching in a park, and uh, on the next spread, there's my. Uh, first planner sketch you're gonna see now yeah I was using Turner acrylic gouache and uh, I only brought uh, three colors if I remember correctly three new colors that I bought that time and some pencils and uh, it was really random and uh, I was trying to catch that view that we had it was a really nice time and this spread I made when I caught COVID, unfortunately. I already had a really high fever, but I was still drawing. I don't know why, don't ask me. <laughs> I made some more art, I think after I already healed. So those feelings are really coming through when your body already healed and you just feel so bright and sunny. <laughs> I used... Uh, oil pastels and acrylic gouache together and they work really amazing on this spread too i really like this one too i was playing with the idea that a girl is hugging a star and the star turns out so cute i really love that one i really want to make this as a full illustration and the textures are just so good i love it Here too I was just uh, playing with colors, washing together the oil pastel, blue, purple and pink. And uh, on this page uh, I was inspired by uh, some blocks in the kindergarten. They had really nice colors and they just worked so fine that I wanted to build them into my art. And this one I wanted to paint on only black surface with the bright colors and they worked so good I was surprised and uh, that time I was really inspired by moths so I wanted to paint those beautiful moths that I saw on Pinterest some more moss pages but uh, the blue ones are not so good in my opinion the luna moths are quite okay This was my already thinking about Inktober phase. So I wanted to practice some ink art and some Halloween theme. A little witch and uh, her cat self. Like it's not a different character, it's her just uh, turned into a cat. And it's like the light and dark contrast that I really like here. On this spread I was uh, practicing with black and bright colors again. Uh, on the left side I used a very bright yellow base, so that's why it's so, so, so bright, that June bug. 
On the other page, I didn't use uh, any base, just uh, painting on the black surface. So that's why it's just fading into the darkness. And uh, both of them just uh, turned out so, so different, but so good in their own ways too. On this page, uh, I was inspired by a children uh, by a child's uh, t-shirt. It had a snake on it in this uh, shape, uh, but I wanted to make it into a dragon. I made some moss characters. Mm, I don't really like them actually, but just leave them be. <laughs> I think I caught the parakeet face. I saw some really cute parakeet video on Instagram, so I wanted to paint uh, some because of their colors. And there was the one with the, the leaf on their head, but it looked like a witch hat, so I made it into a witch hat. Practicing some really nice shaped trees. Stepping into my tree era. Yeah, actually these phases changed uh, from day to day or from week to week so it was really quick i painted every single day i used my sketchbook every single day um we were traveling to a village next to bivako and uh, this was uh, made after a photo that i made in that village it was a really nice village and uh, we had a nice uh, boat trip on the small river and I'm showing a stamp that I had from a, a different uh, trip <laughs> but I was collecting those stamps every everywhere I could I was looking for those stamps and uh, this one was uh, from that village and you can see the river with the boat and uh, I'm gonna talk about those things uh, in the behind of my sketchbook later this was made uh, on the Suma beach in Kobe. We were taking a beach day. It was really hot and really bright with the sun, so I didn't make many sketches. We were mostly in the water. And it was really windy. <laughs> and this is an art prompt from uh, Sophie McPike's uh, Patreon. And uh, these are some more ink practices. Yeah, I really like this uh, theme with the artist and the frog and I want to make it as a full illustration if I will have time for it, maybe this fall <laughs> and the uh, willow tree too. I really love willow trees and uh, I wanted to make an illustration about willow trees for a long time. Maybe it will be a small series, we will see. This is a dragon and the boy traveling on the dragon above uh, the sea. It was inspired by Chiburi Jima, where we went in May. And uh, this technique is one of my favorite. Uh, it's like uh, painting or uh, washing together colors with oil pastel and then I paint it over with acrylic gouache, uh, like neg negative painting, if I'm correct. Mm, these are some Ghibli-inspired sketches, I think, about uh, Laputa and some more negative drawing. This is one of my favorite uh, sketch in this book, sketchbook, and uh, I wanted to make it into a Draw This In Your Style challenge. I'm still thinking about uh, doing it. And uh, Pansies. I was in my pansy era. I think I still am. <laughs> I really like pansies. Mm, this page uh, didn't really turn out how I wanted. I think I only used uh, oil pastels and crayons, so it's not that bright as I wanted it to be. More muted. I used this pattern when I was in high school and uh, we learned on biology class the, the bone cells and uh, ever since, sometimes from time to time, I incorporate the bone cells 
into my art. And these are some goldfishes uh, that were inspired by the goodbye cards that I made for the children when I was leaving uh, Japan and my job. And this is again the artist and the frog in the forest, but the color version. I was playing a lot uh, with the textures and uh, I really didn't think about anything when I was making it. I was just painting greens and yellows together and then later when I know what idea I want to make it into, then I just uh, build the shapes. Some more nature ideas. I was still using in Pinterest uh, heavily and uh, if you need some references then just use my boards freely I'm completely fine with it I don't remember what I wanted to make here but I really like the textures and the colors how they just uh, flew into each other so I think I just left the page like that and uh, yeah, you will see on the next page that uh, I had a really great idea, but I wasn't sure in it, so I wanted to practice it again. Just really good textures. Yummy. Yeah, and uh, that idea didn't really work out, so <laughs> the pages even stuck together. And every single time when I use this sketchbook, they just stuck completely. I used the masking fluid, but I think it's not for this uh, paper, so... Yeah, maybe I don't recommend it. Some neon sketches. On this one I was using the technique of that uh, kind of... Uh, well, it's not negative because uh, I just drew over the colored surface. But I was uh, washing together the colors with oil pastel and then I used... Uh... Actually, I don't remember what I used. Maybe it's crayon. Maybe it's marker. Maybe marker over the colored surface. Uh, this one was uh, inspired by a piece that I found on Pinterest. And uh, I made uh, kind of uh, into my own way with uh, things that I like, things that I like, how they look, some nature elements, figs, flowers, poppy seed. I was uh, inspired by nature on this page and uh, one of my friends told me that it looks like Brazilian folk tales. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice. A bouquet of uh, peonies and cornflowers <laughs> and these spreads is the last one that I made in Japan on my last day a cat in <laughs> in their Halloween costume and uh, a pumpkin in their Halloween costume they're wearing each other's as badges because they are a couple and I think it's really cute. And these are made already in Hungary. I was in the middle of moving with my parents, so I was really into houses, different houses that I found on Pinterest. And uh, they are becoming more simple and simple because I was really busy that time and uh, I was tired. I think still struggling with jet lag. But I was keeping up my streak. I didn't want to stop. Sometimes when I don't like a spread or some page, then I just cover it or stick them together. Some money inspired art for the last page. That one is uh, part of the box of a doll that I bought. And this one is an artwork that I made uh, in March about strawberries in strawberry season.
and the stamps that I showed already, part of the goodbye card that I made for the children. This is a postcard from a gallery where I went, a museum. You can see the artist there. A paper that I used for cleaning my brushes. And uh, leftover goodbye cards. I made more because I wasn't sure how many I need. Yep, so these are all from my sketchbook from 2022 and uh, 2023 September. So I hope you like this little bit of adventure of mine in my sketchbook. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Uh, I would like to re read your opinions. So yeah, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.